The outdoor retailer Cabela's is officially closed tonight in Fort Oglethorpe. The doors shut and the windows are boarded up. Good evening. I'm Latricia Thomas and I'm Abby Kerr. Kylie Thomas digging deeper into what this could mean for Catoosa County after they gave the developer tax breaks to bring Cabela's to the area. She's live to explain Kylie. Yeah, the Catoosa County Economic Developer tells me that the land developer himself did meet the county's requirement. That's after the county spent one and a half million dollars so Cabela's could build here. Nestled off I-75 at exit 353 is an open, empty parking lot. Are you disappointed to hear they're closed? Yeah, really. Byron Touchstone is surprised to be greeted with Cabela's security instead of post-holiday sales. Oh, so I was in there about a week ago. Really? Yeah. And I had gift cards that I needed to redeem. Today's announcement came as a shock to him, but not DK Kovacevic. I don't think it's a big deal. I'll just go down to Bass Pro Shops. Bass Pro Shops bought Cabela's in 2017. The company says they're closing Cabela's doors since Bass Pro is only two miles away. But Cindy neighbors can't help but empathize for the employees who are now out of a job. Now that's the bad part about anything closing like that. Bass Pro says Cabela workers have the chance to transfer to the new location. Catoosa County leaders say they are working with Georgia Department of Labor to get each employee a new job. The county also told us they spent one and a half million dollars on the Capella's site. In exchange, developer Larry Armour had to pay back the money through sales tax revenue. The county says Armour did this in two years, which was ahead of schedule. Now, former customers are anxious to see what will replace the outdoor retailer. It's a great property, so. Who don't want to have? Now, the county's economic developer tells me that taxpayers are missing out on the money that sales tax would typically generate now that Cabela's here is closed. Live in Fordo tonight, I'm Kylie Thomas, News Channel 9. Okay, thanks, Kylie. Catoosa County says Bass Pro owns that land. The company told leaders today it's too early to say whether they're planning on selling or leasing the land.